Yo, we got that week three matchup. We got the Titans. We got the Jaguars. Who y'all got winning on this? Last year, man, the Titans won both matchup against the Jaguars, man. So, on this one, I really... Hmm. I'm going to tell you on this. If Marcus Mariota is not starting, I don't think the Titans are going to do it. If Marcus Mariota is not starting, it's just not happening. I don't see it happening. The Titans are one and one right now, and the Jaguars are two and zero. Oh. Blaine Gabbert is going to be the starting quarterback right now. Marcus Mariota might start. We don't know. We don't know what might happen with that. So just keep you just keep your ears open. That's all I'm going to say. I wouldn't even put neither one of them in none of my lineups, even in the sixteen man lineup. They going against the Jaguars. It's a hard team to get a win against. If even if Marcus Mariota is coming back from injury, like you, I just don't see him dominating against the Jaguars. Like it's just not happening. The first game out. As far as the running back situation, I mean, I would put Deion Lewis in the flex position. That's the only running back. Derrick Henry has been sus like he was last year. People think he was going to have a breakout year this year. He's a suspect running back. Juno Smith (laughs) is the tight end. He's the starting tight end ever since Walker got injured for the season. Corey Davis is the number one receiver. He's probably the best player on the team. Man, Corey Davis, he should be in the lineup this week. But, again, he's going against A.J. Boye. He's going against Jalen Ramsey. He's going against the lineup, the squad. I mean, he's going against the number one defense. And it's going to be a hard game for real. Taewon Taylor had a touchdown last week. Had 12 points, had zero points his first game. Rashad Matthews is a 10-point average guy. Like, be honest with you, I don't trust none of their receivers this week. I would put Corey Davis. That's the only receiver, like, I would even put in this week. Literally. Like, Deion Lewis and Corey Davis are probably the only two as far as the Titans are concerned. Their defense is ranked number 11. I think you should have had a defense in. That defense always performs good against Blake Bortles. They got three interceptions so far, one touchdown. They a cool defense. As far as the Jaguars are concerned, we got a lot of injuries going on. As far as the running back position, you got Leonard Fournette. He's still injured. He walked out the first game like he didn't even care type shit. (laughs) We ain't even going to talk about that. Leonard Fournette, it is what it is, man. T.J. Yeldon, he's not the starting running back in no league, but it is. He he can perform. He cannot perform. Like, T.J. Yeldon is real sketchy with me. Like, only if Leonard Fournette is not playing would I put T.J. Yeldon totally in. Keelan Cole is the heart of his offense. That's what it seems like. Their receivers are the heart of his offense. D.D. Westbrook. Dante Moncrief, like D.D. Westbrook had a great game last week. D.D. Westbrook has, is the most solid receiver so far. Keelan Cole is solid also. They probably are the number one and two receivers on the team. Dante Moncrief had a good game last week too. Then Blake Bortles had a good game just not running the ball. Like I think the league is transferring over to more of a throwing league because they just protecting the quarterback like they fucking babies and bitches so it is what it is man like if I if a defender fucking puts his weight on a quarterback it's a flag for 15 yards like it's just crazy it's unnecessary so on this I think the Jaguars are gonna win I mean if Leonard Fournette is not healthy then I'm going with the Titans. That's all I'm going to say on this. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. You already know.